Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective pick a card. I was guided to put three numbers. So this is gonna be pile one, 1738. Pile two is gonna be 3875. And pile three is gonna be, what is this number? I don't know, 2489. So these are the three numbers. This is pile one, 1738. This is pile two, 3875. And then pile three is 2489. So I'm going to put them together as best as I can. You guys probably can't see them very well, but these are the numbers. Choose the pile you're drawn to the most. This is one, the middle one is pile two, and then over here on this hand is pile three. So choose the pile, choose the number you're drawn to. We're going to get started with pile one, which is 1738. All right, pal one, if you chose 1738, this is your reading. I have no idea what this number means. This could be an angel number if you want to look it up. But pal one, this is your reading. What are the messages from your angels and guides? You have the chariot. You are being guided to move forward and pursue your dreams. You could be a cancer. And then you have the knight of wands. I feel like you are being pursued by someone who is very passionate about you. Someone will be coming towards you. And your last card is the tower. There's a shocking truth or revelation. What's the tower for Pau 1, please? Someone from your past might be wanting to return. You're not expecting it, is what I'm getting. But this person is coming back for a second chance. They want to heal the connection. They want to work with you, is what I am seeing. Whatever it is that you're being guided to do within a work dynamic or partnership, I feel like the outcome is good. Any other messages from Spirit Pile 1, 1738? There we go. Thank you very much. One second, you guys. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. I feel like you may not be interested in this person from your past. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords is just feeling burdened. And you don't want to deal with this person's drama anymore. What's the final message? This one wanted to come out, but then it didn't. The Two of Cups. Yeah, someone is hopeful, but I feel like you might turn this person down because you're not interested. So 1738 is someone wanting to come back into your life. This could be um, someone that you're going to be shocked with the death card, Scorpio energy. It's like they want a second chance. Someone wants to work on a connection with you. What if it's about money? What about the money situation is what I'm hearing. Any messages there about money for Pile 1, 1738? Thank you very much. That flew out really, really quick. So let's see what this message is. It was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, with the Three of Cups. You are being guided to make a decision with regards to your money and your finances. With the Three of Cups, you're going to be making a choice that's going to make you happy. There's positive movement forward. There's celebration. There's success in a work dynamic. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles, you guys. 1738 means there is money coming your way, but you also have someone from your past wanting to reach out. So that is your message. Take what resonates. Let me know if that was helpful. If you're interested, you can look up 1738 as an angel number and see if there's any additional messages from your angels and guides. 2-2-2 two two balance is being restored. And then we have the Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. Archangel Michael is protecting you. So that's what I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. We're going to get into the second pile. And let's see. The second pile was 3875. So pile two. This is your reading, 3875. What are the messages from your angels, guides, positive energies only? Archangel Michael, protect our space. The Empress and the Ten of Swords. If someone had you in a third party situation, Pile 2, that is over with. If you are the other woman, you are ending this connection, is what I'm getting. There's an ending. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. If someone is trying to slow you down, that is coming to an end. And the Nine of Pentacles, you are protecting your money and your finances. Take what resonates, because these are general messages. You have the Six of Pentacles. There is the energy of you needing to leave some offerings. Sorry, guys, I dropped a card. Let me see what that is really quick for you. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. And the card that fell was the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is a love reading, pile two, 333 three, three, angel number. You're surrounded by the energy of love. Someone is no longer going to be breadcrumbing you. They choose you. They ended a connection with a third party um, because you stood up for yourself and you spoke your truth. You said what you wanted to say. And because of that, this person is coming towards you. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Pentacles, Libra, Taurus with the Empress, and then more Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is your sign, their sign, but I really just feel that whoever had you in a third party situation, that's not going to happen anymore. This person is coming towards you. They're committing to you. Death card again with Scorpio energy. Santa Muerte is definitely here for the devotees. I feel like these are Santa Muerte messages, Santa Muerte numbers. 
yeah with the two of cups she's helping you with love if you asked her for a love connection with the devil card this person is no longer stuck with toxic energies with the eight of swords i'm also getting if you were the other woman you said i don't think so and you left this and as a result of this you have new love Yeah, and the seven of wands because you've asked for a genuine connection and something with this blessing you with your love where angels and guides are helping this person go through a transformation and come towards you they realize that they screwed up and they choose you take what resonates if you're not in a third party situation this is not your story if you are in one they're choosing you if you were the other woman you have ended that because you are putting yourself first 808 to angel number you're not going to be another one of the girls is what i'm getting yeah with eight of cups you're walking away from a third party situation knight of cups and justice and as a result of that you have true love here and karma good karma with the libra card a lot of people could be talking shit behind your back but the truth is going to be revealed is what i'm getting with the empress because you are true genuine divine feminine energy with the three of swords yeah someone had you in a third party situation with the three of swords and the five of pentacles you're leaving that person on the cold with judgment you're calling judgment on this situation and as a result of that you will be continuing to work on yourself your manifestations you have good karma you have good blessings coming your way with the two of wands a path is being made clear but i do see you're not the other woman three of pentacles four of cups you are healing yourself and you're focusing more on your finances and just being in the energy of love so two different messages either you are in a third party and they choose you or you were the other woman and you're choosing to get out of that dynamic choose what side you're on that's what i have for you for this number 3875 and 808 or the angel numbers if you want to look that up and see if there's additional messages for you that's your reading pile two let me know if that resonates thank you so much for subscribing and liking my channel we're gonna get into pile number three pile three 2489 this is your reading pile three what are the angel messages for you is what i'm hearing angels guides positive energies only archangel michael protect my space pile three 2489 what do my viewers need to know Mm -hmm. nine of cups wow really good energy very much surrounded by the energy of love and light you guys are high vibrational energy light beings is what i'm hearing some of you guys could be star seeds you're just really happy with ace of swords you're receiving truth and clarity you're getting um crown chakra downloads archangel michael is protecting you with the five of wands and the knight of pentacles you're no longer going to be conflicted about a money situation is what i'm seeing maybe you're having a hard time deciding what type of job you want that's not going to be anything anymore i'm hearing that's the thing of the past you have the ace of pentacles you're being guided to pursue your dreams or there's a new money um offer coming your way with regards to like a promotion or something of that nature the next card are the seven of pentacles and the two of wands these cards came out in pile two so you might have been drawn to pile two and three but this is just reaffirming that a path is being cleared with regards to your manifestations with if you're manifesting money the answer is yes you're going to have the money that you seek final message angels guys i'm also getting someone is so attracted to you that they um i'm hearing that song let me lick you up and down till you say stop let me play with your body baby make you real hot let me do all the things you want me to do because tonight baby i'm gonna get freaky with you 811 someone is fantasizing about you 811 angel number on top of this number 2489 you have the two of wands and leo the strength card we are in leo season so someone is very attracted to you they're wanting to get at you is what i'm hearing they find you very beautiful and sexy guy or girl doesn't matter but i feel like you have the energy of love and someone is going to be coming towards you with the ten of swords there's no more sadness no more pain no more feeling lonely I just got a message that says 30 weeks pregnant today so some of you guys could be getting pregnant from this person someone is manifesting you with a magician card here what else angels guides positive energies only be careful of toxic energies and people is the message from spirit archangel michael protect our space you have the seven of wands and the a nine of pentacles some of you guys are overworking or overindulging and spirit is telling you to be careful and to take care of yourself the seven of wands and the nine of pentacles this is saying your finances your blessings of money are protected and no one can take them from you you do need to meditate the hangman wanted to come out any other messages angels guides positive energies only for my collective viewers for 2489 pal three what do they need to know final message please thank you all right let's see the world there's completion and ending of something that is not meant for you but as a result of that there are blessings yeah with four pentacles claim back your energy do some cord cutting if you haven't already done so with the page of cups you are being surrounded by the energy of love lots of people want you lots of people are interested in you if you have a social media platform a lot of people are um really happy with watching you you inspire them 
they're attracted to you. It's like everybody has their eyes on you, file three. The Knight of Cups, someone is definitely coming towards you. They are single and they are ready to mingle. That's what I'm getting. Three days, three weeks for the King of Swords. Someone has um, communication. They're going to be honest with the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. This person is very sexually attracted to you. This could be someone that you met in a workplace because the Three of Pentacles came out again. And with the Queen of Wands, they're heavily attracted to you. You're beautiful. You're sexy. Whoa. And with the Page of Pentacles, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the way that fell out. Someone wants another chance with you. With the Nine of Swords, they're thinking heavily about you. With the Six of Cups, they are nostalgic about any memories or any time that they spent with you. They're replaying this in their head with the Empress and the Six of Swords. There could be an age difference here, but this person looks up to you. And with the Fool card, this person will be coming towards you because they want to clear the air and they want a new beginning with you. Completely up to you, but I do see someone here wanting to start a new chapter or this is someone completely new with Eight of Wands. This person will be communicating because they like you and they want to get to know you more. You have new love here. And with the World card, yeah, you are protected and everyone that is not meant for you will be closed out from your energy they can't come near you 1010 is the angel number as well and that's what i have for you for 2489 let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe comment down below if this was helpful and i send you many blessings thanks for watching bye guys